Thank you for watching this video from Kingsway Soft. Today, I will be introducing the premium Excel components for when the SSIS Productivity Pack product. The SSIS Productivity Pack is a collection of premium SSIS components which enable greater developer productivity and increases the power of SSIS. As of this recording, the SSIS Productivity Pack offers three premium Excel components. Premium Excel Connection Manager, Premium Excel Source, and Premium Excel Destination. The Connection Manager can be used to establish connections with an Excel file. The Source component can be used to read or retrieve data from an Excel file, whereas the Destination component can be used to write data to an Excel file. Let's begin by creating our Excel Connection Manager. Right click on the Connection Manager area down below to add a new connection. Select the Excel Kingsway Soft item to add this new Connection Manager. Note that you should see two Excel types in this window. Make sure that you are using the one with the Kingsway Soft prefix. Within the Connection Manager, the File option specifies the location of the Excel file that you are trying to read from. This can be a local path or a network path. The Password to Open option can be used to specify the password to open the Excel file. If the Excel file is not encrypted, you can leave this field blank. Before we hit OK, we should test the connection to make sure our information is correct and we can connect successfully. Please note that the connection manager that we just created is a package level connection manager. For SSIS 2012 or later, you can create project level connection managers if you right click the connection managers node within the solution explorer. Let's begin configuring our data flow task, starting with a premium Excel source component by dragging it to the design surface. Double click to open its editor form. As mentioned before, the Premium Excel Source Component is an SSIS Data Flow Pipeline component that can be used to read and receive data from Excel files. The component offers some advanced features when compared to the out-of-box Excel Source Component. Let's select an Excel Connection Manager that we just created. Specify the Excel worksheet you want to work with. You can also specify the named ranges defined in the Excel file. Use the Start Row to indicate which row to start from. You can also specify the number of rows you wish to retrieve. When the Read to End option is checked, the component will read all rows from the Start Row you have specified to the last row of the sheet. Once this option is checked, the number of rows will be grayed out. There are four options that you can use to indicate column names. Not specified, first row of sheet, start row, and first row of named range. Note that the first row of named range option is only available when named ranges source is selected. Let's head to the columns page where we can see all available attributes from the source that were specified on the general page. You can also add and remove fields to and from the Excel file. When a field is selected, its properties window show more detailed information accordingly. Let's click OK to finish configuring our source component. For this demonstration, we are going to write to a Dynamics CRM target for the purpose of showing you how the data flows from the source to destination components. We have now completed our data flow task. We can now execute this task successfully. We will now demonstrate writing and sending data to an Excel file using the destination component. Let's begin by generating some sample data using our data spawner component, which is also a part of our productivity pack. Drag the premium Excel destination component from the SSIS toolbox to the design surface and connect the two. We'll first need to select an Excel Connection Manager. Specify the Excel worksheet you want to work with. There are four options available for write mode setting. Clear and write new data, 
append and end, overwrite existing cells, and write to specified rows. Select set password for write access to set the password to modify in Excel files. When this option is used, it will automatically enable the read only recommended option for the Excel file after it is written. Note that this option differs from the Connection Manager's Password to Open option. It basically protects the file from writing, while the option in the Connection Manager protects it from opening and reading. If you would like the first row to contain column names, select the First Row Has Column Names option. Clicking the Refresh Component button will bring up a prompt for you to confirm the refresh. After clicking Yes, it will remove any existing columns and add all columns from upstream pipeline components. Let's head to the Columns page where we can map the columns from upstream components to the Excel fields. You can also add and remove fields to be written to the Excel file as needed. When a field is selected, its Properties window show more detailed information accordingly. The last page is the Error Handling page, where there are three error handling mechanisms to choose from. The default option is Fail on Error, where the entire data flow will fail as soon as an error occurs. There is also the Redirect Rows to Error Output, where the Error Output will contain the failed records with extra columns. Error Code, Error Column, Error Message. These three error columns can usually help you identify why the error occurred. The Ignore Error option is generally not recommended. Let's click OK to finish configuring our destination component. We have now completed our data flow task. We can execute this task successfully. This concludes a demonstration of the Premium Excel components within our SSIS Productivity Pack. There are many other components in the SSIS Productivity Pack that enable developers to accomplish more in SSIS in a much more productive fashion. Please feel free to take a look at our other videos available for viewing on our website or YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. For any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us.